Yo, so it's been a while since I actually had some like white F Force Ones, but the recent F Force Ones that Nike is about to drop is just crazy. So let's just talk about it right now. I don't even wanna waste y'all time. Y'all know how we do it. Let's get right to it. Roll my camera, please. Yeah. What's good, Cam Crew? It's your homeboy, Cam Porter Banks, and welcome back to the channel. Now, if this is your first time tuning into my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, notification bell, hit that like button, and drop a comment down below and let me know you rocking with the team. You dig. Nike is celebrating 40 years. That's 40 years in the game with their Air Force One low that has dropped 40 years ago. And they still have popularity like they never left before. Now, if I'm being honest, like what I'm what I'm used to is that old school 2000 era, early 2000 era when Air Force Ones was just at its highest of popularity because of course you had people like Jeezy, Nelly, Saint Lunatics, Ludacris, for real, Jay-Z, and so much more. Everybody had Air Force Ones. And today, everybody is still wearing Air Force Ones as well. Now, that's not to say that Air Force Ones have dimmed down, but I mean, the popularity has not been as much as they have been with like Jordan Ones and everything like that. But in the past year, like starting off in 2021, for some odd reason, Air Force Ones have just been rising extremely at a fast rate. Now, Nike is dropping like this city pack where they going around different areas and designing sneakers. They're designing Air Force Ones based off of the location that they go to. So I'm pretty sure a lot of people are already seen what they did for Memphis. But they have ones that are coming out for the big easy. Nola Baby, New Orleans, man. This is like a fire sneaker. And I'm excited to talk about this because this is showing what New Orleans, Louisiana is all about. It's a showsman state. It's just out there in the open and people gravitate to it just like I gravitated to these sneakers. So I don't even want to hold y'all. Let's just jump right into the sneaker. Now, first thing first, I'm pretty sure y'all see just looking at the sneaker entirely, you see that swoosh that's right off the back. Now, this gives me that old school 2000s vibe when everything was all bling bling in your face and I think that's dope because that's what brings me back to that old school 2000 era and that's what makes me feel like the popularity of this shoe is about to come back at a rapid pace. So I love the swoosh that they have on here. I think it was a creative idea. I don't think it's too much of me because I'm not a bling bling type of person. What I think it's doing is bringing back some real retrospective to the early 2000s and I think it's fire. Now with the swoosh that they have, they have that gold outline trimming and we already know in a big easy we know that that who that color that new orleans saints that it goes along with that gold and black color that a lot of people really do be wearing so this gold that's on here is just really gonna lead the way for the entire sneaker now when you get to the opposite side it's not gonna be that bling bling that's in your face it's gonna be a white smooth leather that's on a swoosh they'll still have that outline of the gold that's on there and i think that's cool because it comes down the shoe because it's already loud as is so with them not being both sides with the real like shimmering bling that's on there i think that's good and it was a smart idea so it wasn't too in your face and it doesn't take away from the entire shoe now toward the back of the heel they have in that gold they have nola they have that old english font and the l being the louisiana state so it has that boot shape that's on there and it's the l on there and in small old english font you'll see 504 so i think that is fire so anybody that's representing for new orleans y'all just got one with this shoe that's the perfect stamp for this shoe just to say that it's a New Orleans shoe but at the same time it's still so much more on this sneaker that just continues to show that this is a showsman shoe this is all about New Orleans now stand to the back of the shoe you'll see that it has that smooth gold that's on the back it still stands out in the open it's still shining it's shimmering gold man I think that this is fire it's a smooth gold it's not old and rustic looking it blends perfect with the entire shoe so of course this is going to be a standout piece it's all around the entire a sneaker that looks good so the back of the heel just stands out even more now to add on top of this if you look at the front of the shoe you'll see the eyelets that's on here and i'm not one to say that i i, I do not i do not i say that in in like the boldest of ways i do not like i eyelets i do not like eyelets being gold or silver or anything like that i just don't i just don't like them that's just not me but when it comes to the theme of this one this is perfect, it goes well. <laughs> like it actually grabs my attention. This goes well with the entire shoe. And on top of that, you will actually see that there's a 504 charm on here. So it just continues to put Nola in your face, New Orleans in your face. It just continues to keep hitting you back and forth with this Nola in your face. And not only does it show with the 504, the state, the name, the font, 
it just continues to give you that gold flavor around here so it stands out with that gold. So if you have like a Huda jersey or an old school 504 boys, a, a old school Master P jersey, or even just a New Orleans Saint jersey, this will be like the perfect combination for you to represent for the early 2000s, especially if you're trying to do a throwback party or something like that. But they did it with this one. Now, if you look on front of the tongue, you'll see that they had this gradient feel from orange and red it's a nice blend it's a perfect blend so it's kind of like giving that perfect blend with gold on the inside and it starts to fade to red i think that's fire i think it's something that's actually captivating it's eye-catching it grabs your attention really quick but it's not staying too much on the gold it actually gives you a different accent and it still stay along with that humid warm thing that new orleans has because it's hot down there so to have the colors of orange red and yellow up in there is perfect just to stay on the temperatures of how it is in new orleans because like i said it's hot and to finish it off you have the inside sole where it's more attention to detail you'll see that it starts off at red and it goes with that gradient color all the way to yellow and at the bottom you'll see that it says nike air force one and a font i think is flames I think that's what it is. Hopefully that's what it is because if it is, that will be the perfect idea. So hopefully that's what that is. Now I did forget to mention that they have the gold lace tips that's at the end. You'll have that on the laces as well. So it's just gold everywhere, man. This is fire. Now, for those who want to know, this is going for $150. This also for like the younger kids for like grade school and everything like that. This is going to be going for $100. So I'm glad that they're not only doing it for adults. They're also doing it for the younger groups as well. Now, let me know if you want me to talk about some other city packages that are dropping. Are you feeling like these are better than the Memphis ones that's coming out? Do you think that this is more fire? This is the iconic one. Do you think the Memphis ones are better? Or do you see some other ones that's about to drop that are more fire than these? Drop those comments down below and let me know what's up. Now, with that being said, man, I'm going to get up out of here. I'm your homeboy, Cam Quarter Banks. Until next time, shorty, I'm going to catch up with you next time. I'm your homeboy, Cam Quarter Banks. I'm out. I'm gone. I'll holler at y'all, all right? Peace.